Hello guys, this is Ravens from Digi Integrity. Next week is pretty much the most interesting one of this year. October, tech giant Apple, Google, and Samsung all have events lined up for the fans, and some of these announcements have been long expected. Here is a round of what's coming next week. Apple kicks off the week-long Stings of Event with its Unleashed event on Monday, October 18th. The event is believed to be for the launch of new MacBook Pro laptops that will be powered by a new powerful version of the Apple M1 chip. Expected to be called the Apple M1X, this chipset is also reported to power the new Mac Mini. And the much-awaited Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro will be announced on Tuesday, October 19th. The Pixel Fall event is for the new Pixel 6 phones, but there is a high chance we will see Google announce other products. Vivo has announced that it will be announcing the new T1 series of smartphones on October 19th in China. The tipster further claimed that these smartphones are comes with the specifications like high refresh rate LCD display, Snapdragon Samsung TAG processor or a Dimensity 900 chipset, and a 5000mAh battery and a 64MP main camera. And Realme will be holding an event in China on October 19th. This event is for the Realme Q3s but it is also expected to launch the Realme T1, the first smartwatch for the Chinese market. The IQ Z5 X is scheduled to launch in China on October 20th. The device will join the Z line of devices from the Chinese manufacturer. The IQ Z5 X will come with a Dimensity 900 processor, 6GB of RAM, 4880mAh battery and a 44W fast charging support. Oppo will be unveiling a new K-series phone in China on October 20th. According to the poster, Oppo confirms that Oppo K9s will feature a 64MP triple camera setup. While there is no information about the other two sensors, we can expect them to be an ultra-wide shooter and a depth or macro territory sensor. The Oppo K9 Pro was unveiled recently with only two color variants. This smartphone was debuted in China last month with an obsidian black and glacier blue colors and will now include a neon silver model according to Oppo. The new variant will be unveiled on October 20th. Redmi has a new Smart TV launching on Wednesday, October 20th. The Smart TV X 2022 is a successor to its 2019 Redmi Smart TV X affordable premium TV. We can expect the new model will have a premium features but the modest price tag. Samsung hits us with a surprise a few days ago when it announced that it has a launch event scheduled for Wednesday, October 20th. The major announcement is expected to be the One UI 4, but a teaser posted by Samsung on YouTube yesterday points at a foldable related device announcement too. Nokia announced the Nokia XR20, C30, C20 Plus, G10 and C01 Plus in India back in August. While the Nokia C20 Plus went on sale immediately, the other models were not made available. The Finnish company has now officially announced the rugged Nokia XR20 will be opened for pre-booking in India on October 20th. This means the device will go on sale in no distant time. The Nokia XR20 will be the first 5G Nokia smartphone sold in India when it eventually goes on sale. And according to the teaser poster shared by the company but which was later removed. The pre-booking will come with an added perk with a Nokia Power Earbuds Lite and a one-year screen damage protection plan at no extra cost. Hawaii is bringing the Nova 9 series to Europe on October 21st. The Nova 9 series has launched in China in September powered by a Snapdragon 778G processor. When they launch next week in Europe, they also won't have a 5G support as well. The Acker Group posted a video on the Acker Forum as evidence of this ISR data lake. This data lake includes the data of 10,000 customers. Apart from this, data from 3,000 distributors and retailers has also included in this leak. Acker stole over 50 GB of data earlier this week by attacking the Indian servers of laptop maker company Acer. As per the data breachers, a Acker Group named as Disorder has claimed that they stole around 60 GB of data from Acer's Indian servers by breaking into them. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.